Hey, hello there everyone. My name is Anthony and welcome to episode 10 of my Loot from 1000 series. Today I have another Slayer episode for you. Like I mentioned earlier in the series, every 5 episodes will be a Slayer episode so I can keep up with this skill and unlock new monsters to kill. As you can see, my Slayer level is 40 at the moment. That's the result from episode 5. I went to the Slayer Master Veneca and killed 1000 monsters of his assignments. In this video it's time to look for a different Slayer Master, Cheldar. But before I can do that, there are still some requirements I have to get. First of all, I need level 70 combat to get tasks assigned by Cheldar. I'm coming level 69 at the moment, so that shouldn't be too much of a problem. Second, I need to complete the last city quest to actually get to Cheldar. Not too hard either, but I need to train some skills first. As you can see here in this grand exchange clip, I had quite a lot of money to spend. I bought myself a black mask for Slayer, 200 dragon bones for 50 prayer and 70 combat, and last but not least, some dragon weapons to prepare for level 60 attack. Then I started training my prayer to level 50 by using someone's house in Yanil. As a thanks, I donated to friendly guy 50k gold, and of course I had to train my woodcutting and crafting as well for the Lost City quest. I completed Monk's Friend 2 for some woodcutting experience. After that, I completed the Lost City, so now it's time to do 1000 Slayer Kills. Alright guys, that's 1000 Slayer kills. I must admit, I'm a little disappointed. I got really bad tasks. But anyways, I'll show you what I got from everything in total. This is like the loot tab. Of course, not all the money is loot, but here you can see what I got. Like a lot of ores, herbs, runes, armor, but it's nothing really special. No big drops, nothing great. But anyways, I will just price check and uh, we'll see what it's worth. Okay guys, here comes price check number one. And as you can see, it's worth about 280k, which is not really nice, but it's not bad either. So everything is, of course, welcome, all the money. And um, as you can see, most of the money comes from the bones, ashes and stuff, and some uh, renner weeds. But um, that's basically it. And this is price check number two. 
And as you can see, 78k in total, which is <laughs> actually pretty sad. Almost all the money comes from the Snapdragon seeds. But okay, it's what it is, and we have to uh, we have to take that. And here's the third and the last price check. Let's see what it's worth. In total, 102k or about 100k. I got two uh, rune medium helmets. I got some gems, which is worth quite a lot, and some armor pieces. And um, the rest of it is uh, not really that special, so. That's the total loot together guys, now let's see what we can make if we sell everything to the Grand Exchange. Okay, my friends, here is 413k, which is not great, but it is quite a lot of money, and of course, everything is welcome, but it shouldn't be always about the money, guys. Of course, I made a lot of nice progress in this video, um, a lot of Slayer levels, a lot of combat levels, a lot of melee levels, um, I think it's really useful, and um, of course, in a future episode, we will maybe make more money, but um, I'm happy. Alright, then I think it's now time to take a look at my stats. I got 60 attack, very nice dragon weapons, 60 strength and uh, 52 defense. Really happy about that. 50 prayer, of course, in the beginning of the episode, which is very nice. And I train my slayer from 40 to 49, so that's 9 levels. And not to forget, I as well trained my hit points from 66 to, uh, to 68. So, to complete the Lost City quest, I needed 36 woodcutting and 31 crafting, so I've trained these skills as well. And obviously, I've completed the Lost City quest, and not to forget, Monk's Friend, which is a quest as well. So, that's very nice progress, uh, too. And of course, not to forget, level 75 combat, so we got 5 combats, actually 6 in this episode, because I started at 69, so yeah, 6 um, combat levels today. And let's now put everything in the bank to see how much money we have. So, everything together is... 1.1 mil and 85k, which is cool. It's cool. It's more than a million, so I'm uh, I'm happy with that. Today I have another poll for you for episode 11, and you can choose between Ice Warriors, Mammoths, and Master Farmers. Now the Ice Warriors and uh, Mammoths are located in the wilderness, so that's pretty good for the uh, medium clue scrolls. Now Ice Warriors are easier to kill, but Mammoths are less crowded, and we don't know much about them, so um, that's going to be uh, pretty cool as well. It's your decision, and of course, not to forget, you can choose Master Farmer Pickpockets as well if you want to see some skilling, render seeds, stuff like that. If you want to vote, you can click on the link in the description. You don't need an account, you can just click, 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 done. Alright guys, that's gonna be it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed. Of course, I didn't make a lot of money today, but I did train a lot of skills, and that is important too. So, episode 11 is going to be between Ice Warriors, Mammoths, and Master Farmers. If you want to uh, submit your vote, you can click on the link in the description and just uh, vote on the straw poll. Now, before you leave, it would be amazing if you could leave a like on this video. It would help my channel out very much. So guys, thank you very much for watching, and see you next time. Bye-bye.